Okay guys, so in my um, in my research for the rotating coil, I've been doing a lot of stuff. And one of the things I was looking at was the TPU uh, unit by Stephen Marks. Now, while searching uh, the internet, I found a document. Uh, the document is right here. It's called uh, the Toroidal Power Unit Theory and Design. Um, the guy's name is Edward, uh, if you can see right there, L-E-E-D-S-K. A L N I N. Cannot pronounce that. That's fine. Uh, but that's the guy's name, and he basically uh, created the TPU unit. Uh, Stephen Marks actually didn't create it. He just took this idea and went off that. Didn't realize that. But uh, the original design is absolutely amazing. It is truly what I would consider a perpetual motion uh, device. Now you can't see the perpetual motion, but it is there through magnetic properties and. Uh, I didn't know this either, but uh, I guess magnets, magnets or magnetism actually moves in two directions in a spiraling pattern. I didn't know that. But uh, I'm going to show you this device. I'm going to explain it. And uh, I think you're going to be amazed. And you can totally try this at home. It's very, very easy to make. Um, the original unit's much bigger. Mine's very small. I just wanted to throw something together and see if it worked. And it does. Uh, so here we go. Uh, the document uh, is, uh, if you just Google the TPU and you'll find a PDF document that's where I'm looking at this information so. alright so I try to get everything in view here I get rid of all this stuff uh, so it's just the device here is the device um, it is nothing more than a uh, U-shaped piece of metal you're supposed to use soft iron uh, I just found a bolt it was already made up no problem I did finish the edges here so they're very 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 flat and then uh, for the top, you're supposed to have another piece on the top here. I just used a piece of key stock, uh, and then I've smoothed it out too. But you can see, if you can, it's real smooth on there. So it fits really, really, really nice. The other part of this device is two coils, um, as you can see that I got here. These are just 24-volt coils. Uh, they are slip on this device like this. Uh, they are orientated so the south is this way and the north is this way on the other direction so one's facing uh, one polarity and the other one's facing the other so basically you're creating a, uh, magnetic, a circulating magnetic field now what I'm going to do is um, I just boarded here just to hold this up otherwise it falls over um, I've been playing with this a lot so that it's kind of magnetized so I'll show you here um, basically this does stick on here and I can kind of get it to lift off the table but it, it doesn't really stick now basically what this device is supposed to do is create an infinite running loop of magnetism okay so what I'm going to do is let's hit this here with this bar on top now I've got two leads off here as you can see there's nothing else connected I've got a 24 volt power supply all I'm going to do is temporarily attach these two to the power supply so I'm going to go positive positive negative negative okay that's it now if you look at this this is stuck to this this is really really on there like this is not a joke at all I'm going to uh, try to get this whole thing in view here you go I've got the whole thing in my hand there's nothing else connected to it and it doesn't come off it is on there that well now that came off. Put a little force on it. It does come off. But if I pick this up and try to put this back on here, it falls off. It does not. It will not stay. Okay. So I'll do that again real quick so you can see that. Nothing else connected. Positive, negative. Okay. That's all it takes. Uh, in the document it says to hook these back up together. Uh, I don't really think it matters because it works the same way so now that I've connected that this stays on here okay now basically what this means is that there's a infinite loop of magnetism once you start it it stays in here and it circles in two directions it's it actually crosses each other um, when I pull this off here there's a lot of force there hook it back up it, it will not I mean it, it doesn't it doesn't have the same magnetic power um, it just don't. Now you can see it's starting to really fade off. This metal isn't probably the right stuff. I've, I've magnetized the metal. That's why it does this. 
Now, the other interesting part of this is I can extract power back out of this unit after I de-energize it. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. Hook up positive, negative temporarily. Okay, that's it. It's energized. Now I've got an LED here. You probably aren't going to be able to see this. Um, I might have to do it multiple times for you actually to see the LED. Um, let's just set something here so I can get it to face you. Okay, so this is just sitting here so you can see it. Now I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Okay, so this unit isn't connected to any batteries or anything, okay? Uh, I'll just set it like this so you can see me. Now what I'm going to do is just pull this um, top off this. So really fast. One, two, three. Now if you didn't see the LED flash, it, it did flash. And I hook it back up. I got, I got nothing there. Okay, I'll do it again. Zoom out a little. I might be able to see that without me getting close. Okay, so here we go. Energize. Okay, nothing's hooked up to it. Get this facing you again. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So now I'm going to just pull this bar back off here again, and you'll be able to actually see this LED light up again. Okay. There's nothing hooked up to this. Now, what is very interesting about this is that in the document it says that the guy left his unit, and his unit is much bigger with much more um, coil on it. He left it sit after he energized it for six months six months okay and he came back and pulled that bar off there and watched the light he had an incandescent light bulb on there and the incandescent light bulb had the same amount of of light come out of it six months after he energized it versus directly afterwards so basically what i'm telling you is that i can extract energy out of this this simple device after i energize it anytime after it is truly what I consider a perpetual motion device because you can't see it but the magnetic forces are always in here and they stay they stay in there until you uh, break that cycle which would be uh, taking that bar off now I want to try this a little closer just to make sure okay I've got it energized there's nothing hooked up get the LED right here I'm gonna pull this bar off ready Again, I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to do it with the lights off. Maybe you can see it better. Okay, energized it. Uh, let me hit the lights. Okay. Now, using my LED, I'll get it lined up for you. Now you can do this with an incandescent bulb, but the voltage is really small on a small scale model. So I don't have very much on there. Okay, here we go in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I'll do it again while I got the lights off. Okay, energize. Okay, I energized it. And face it towards you here. Okay, five, four, three, two, one, now. Okay, now I'll do it again. See, nothing. I got nothing. I have to energize it, and it stays in there. So, basically, what I'm telling you is that this is an amazing thing. I mean, I, I can't explain it to its full stability, because I've actually only looked at this for one day. Today is the only day. I spent, I don't know, 20 minutes smoothing this stuff out. Um, I had the coils already. These are 24 volt coils. Uh, I don't know what the resistance is. Um, but that's it. That's what I'm telling you. I'm going to hook up a little capacitor to this and see if I can charge the capacitor with the voltage spike. Uh, and I'll show you that right now. If you don't believe this or you don't think this is valid information, try it yourself. Because I thought it was like, yeah, okay, you know, yeah, okay, no problem, did that. It worked. So, something's going on here. Um, very cool. I'll hook up the cap here. Let's see if we can get it to.